Despite Arsenal proving to everyone that they deserve to be at the top of the country and beating Liverpool in a brilliant win at the Emirates, there only seems to be one thing that anyone can talk about, and it is do Arsenal celebrate too much? So let's look into if the media actually have a point or they just like moving the agenda against Arsenal. Now, like many of you, I watched the game on Sky Sports and I wanted to see a good post rapture reaction about how good our performance was because that was really stellar by the whole team. However, all Jamie Carragher and Gary Neville could seem to stump and talk Talk about is just about how Arsenal kept over celebrating with the cameraman and with the team. Now this caused a lot of people online to basically laugh at Arsenal despite them easily beating Liverpool and being very convincing. Now first of all I want to create a discussion, put in the comments what you think about the celebrations and if you think they're really over dramatic because I personally do not think they are and even if they are I don't think it really matters. Now obviously I can't talk, I never played football professionally but I think when you play football professionally you look at everything a little bit different. I think Gary Neville and Jamie Carragher think too much about the business side of the game. Now, of course there is always a bigger picture and of course Arsenal fans will want Arsenal to win the league but us celebrating a couple of minutes after a massive win with the fans and with the people that really deserve it really isn't any different to any rival result. If Arsenal go and lose next weekend it's nothing to do with them over celebrating here. And I feel like people who don't like Arsenal see it as a way getting back at the team but the whole point about football is not necessarily always about trophies. Now every team would obviously love to win trophies and love to get to these big games but it's not always about that especially most teams are around the country that just want to be happy when they win. A few years ago, Arsenal had no hope against any of the top six sides. They'd be lucky to maybe get a win at the Emirates but wouldn't do anything away. And now Arsenal can really compete with the top level teams and are better than a lot of them. I think it's very encouraging. And not only that, Arsenal got a brilliant win and a much important win. It's like when we beat Man City and earlier in the season, we were so happy. We have a right to be happy. You're supposed to celebrate these matches after because at the end of the day, when you kill the joy, that is it. It's over after that. And if you just look at football from a cynical side and have no joy in it then why do you even care if you can't celebrate any victories why is the point of even bothering and i do think that everything's been completely blown out of proportion just because people simply don't like arsenal jamie carragher was salty that arsenal destroyed his liverpool team and i can understand other fans being a bit annoyed when arteta goes crazy on the sidelines but it's passion arsenal wanted that arsenal fans wanted passion by their manager we used to have unoy emery and arsene wenger who barely even showed any and it's just very demoralizing it's really good to see someone really with the fans feeling like we feel in every moment and after we beat Man City the team did not get worse last time it doesn't mean just because you celebrate a massive match that it gets worse I don't really understand that point of view we are a very professional side I mean if we lose games it's because we didn't turn up on the day and nothing to do with us getting complacent because Arsenal haven't won anything so why would we get complacent and I think this just shows the problem with the media of Sky Sports what they do is they have old players on there who have got incredibly biased to their own team and barely even watch a lot of teams out there luckily because Arsenal are a big team they have a bit of knowledge about us but I feel bad if you really support one of the lower teams in the Premier League there's no way they even put any research into learning about your players and understand them probably just looking at simple goals and assist stats to judge how good a player is and that's not really fair their job is to be a much more better than that and although you're always going to get some bias on the TV I would respect it if they didn't have that in that sense but obviously they all hate Arsenal because what they did in their career but I don't really think that's fair they shouldn't be on there and this just creates the whole agenda of football on the internet in the UK I think it's a horrible place right now Jamie Carroll has no issue when Klopp's being mental on the pitch, running on the pitch when the game's not even over, hugging his players because it's his team he supports and he loves that. When Arteta does that, it's a problem because he can't see it. I think this is a big problem with Jamie Carragher and Gary Neville as a whole. They simply don't understand things that they didn't do. I remember in the Arsenal Manchester United game where Gary Neville went on a massive rant about how Gabriel's positioning cost us a goal because of Garnacho and he's keeping him on side, but actually his positioning kept him offside and actually saved us a goal, but he still wouldn't go back on his point. He was still adamant he'd been in the wrong there when Gabriel just literally saved us a goal and this is not the first time Gary Neville also did that whole big piece about the ball not being out acting like we're dumb basically taking the mick out of Arsenal fans even though it came out that Joe Willock thought the ball was out and he was the closest one to it and also in that Newcastle game talking about the foul on Gabriel in the build-up and then when it happened a few games later he backed up his claim when it happened against Manchester United and I know a lot of Arsenal fans bite a lot of the time I understand we are quite reactionary on Twitter and this is how they get their clicks but this is the problem this is sky sports this is a registered tv company that take millions millions and billions of pounds this isn't a youtuber just saying things for content and this is what's happened now all of football youtube who's popular and really really doing well is mostly just people just saying random stuff i mean the club all of them have no football knowledge they just say random things an 80 million quid striker darwin nunez on my life i take billy sharp over him right now for <laughs> and in the end they get a lot of hate and a lot of people hate them and then that gets them more views and people and watch them i would never act like 
like I am not a little biased to Arsenal, but I like seeing the other ways of different things that happen. I don't always just like seeing it from an Arsenal perspective because you have to think about other people in certain situations. And that's why I understand that sometimes Arsenal fans online can be a bit wrong and, and can be annoying. But the fact that you get targeted by outlets such as TalkSport and Guy Sports is literally not fair. You are mainstream media and it's not really right, especially when Arsenal played a brilliant performance and there was no credit given yet again. Luckily, Match of the Day did a really good job explaining our out of possession and how good we were with the pressing and finally that is some sort of accreditation we got. But it seems like everyone finds a way to overshadow what Arsenal are actually good at when it comes down to it. We played brilliantly, people didn't really know what to say, couldn't really find anything, any no luck about it. So they talked about the celebrating. And just for once, if you think that Odegaard taking a photo of the lifelong photographer who has been a lifelong Arsenal fan is over celebrating, then you are stupid. That is one of the most loveliest things that our club has done, a very wholesome moment. And if people look at that in a bad way, then you need to sort yourself out rather than our team needs to change. You can celebrate any game that you want to because you won. If you can't celebrate these games, then what is the point? That is with our fans. Are we ever going to get a chance to play Liverpool at home the rest of the season? No. Are we going to have another game against one of the big teams at home where we have a goal against City? But it's at least good that we kept that record up and we celebrated, yeah, maybe a lot, but I have no issues with that at all. And a lot of people dream to see Arsenal. Imagine going to that game for your first game and getting to see that atmosphere and seeing everyone so happy. That would make you feel much better. Not everything is based on winning trophies. Sometimes it is, but realistically, it's not. Look at Manchester United last year. They won the Carabao Cup. Who really cared? And then this season, they've been awful. It really doesn't matter sometimes. And I think overall, when you look 100 years in the future, it might do, but that's not what football's about. Football's about here in the moment and enjoying every single moment that comes with it because soon it will be gone. Arsenal could always just be bad and then lose every game and then we won't even get get these moments because we didn't celebrate because we had to keep a cool head when we know our players are professional we know they will get the job done when they need to and it's nothing to do with the celebrations overall i can understand a lot of people saying that arsenal don't get it worse than some other teams because still teams that get it bad but i do think when you really highlight when arsenal gets spoke about in the media it does seem to be always negative things i mean arteta realistically has stood up for himself in many moments he stood up against the poor referee which we all know is a thing and it's very honest in interviews he's done nothing wrong to anyone he celebrates and goes mad when we win which is deserve yet the media paint him out to be a horrible person which is just not really the case and for instance someone like Jurgen Klopp is seen as a shining light to the media yet there's been so many times where I remember they lost to Fulham and he blamed the length of grass he's blamed the weather he's blamed loads of things on these results he's moody all the time complains about the schedule every year and yet just because he does a few fist pumps everyone loves him yet Arteta does the same thing and everyone hates him I think it's really a real problem with the media in this country and in a sense I want Arsenal to win everything they can just to prove people wrong so they can cannot physically say anything more because even though we've got much better apparently they can still chat to us thank you guys for watching sorry for this. this is a bit of a rant but i just seen so much about it i thought i had to speak about it eventually let me know if you enjoyed this video if you want to watch my video about Havertz against liverpool i'd recommend going to watch that and i'll see you in the next one